Hi, I'm Bob with Quilter's Headquarters, and I'm going to show you um, how to um, basically run the Foff Classic style sewing machine. So one of the first things you need to know is um, um, what th when you're using different threads, how to feed it to the machine because th there's certain threads they like and don't like. Your typical type of threads, your higher end threads that you get from quilt shops like this, uh, fit very easy up here like this and you just cap it and then you'll thread it which I'll show you in a second how to do that part then the other type of threads is these Coates and Clark's threads give a lot of machines a lot of problems and one way to avoid the problem is to get this out put this on and put it right here and then thread the machine that's the best way to use this type of thing, no lid, okay, and you won't have uh, as much problems if you put this type of thread in right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to wind a bobbin, and again, we're going to use the, the better threads, and you can put this cap on either way, this way I like the best. So when you're threading the machine, you go right here when you're getting ready to thread the machine. But when you go to wind the bobbin, and there's an arrow right here, and it shows you, you go here, then here, like that. And you'll notice it's like you tied a knot. Okay, and so then you go to here, and you go into the, that one right there. And then you get a bobbin. And the best way to do the bobbin is run it into that slot right there. Okay, this one you turn till it goes into that little bead, and then you hit that right there. And this thing is out of adjustment. There we go. Now that's adjusted. That should, should stay that way. And then um, uh, you turn on the machine. And then this one, you have to turn this knob back here to get this for the needle don't go up and down. Get it started. And then cut the thread. And you can see it, it's nice and even. It's not in a cone, it's not tapered. It's sewing nice and even. And then it reached the end. And then when you put the bobbin in, in this particular model, is when you pull it, it goes clockwise. And we go into here, we hold it, for we can hear the snap, and we get it into there. And then when this is up, like this, it's best when you take it out, you take it out using this, but don't put it in using this because you want to hear it snap in. So then you put this in, rock it, you'll feel it's in place, it snaps in place. Now we're going to thread it, and this is where you use this thread right here. You use that thread or not this one. Then you go to here. And, and it's best to lift the foot up so the foot's down. Now the pressure foot's up. You want the pressure foot up when you're threading it. Because if you don't, you're going to miss the tensioner and then you're going to have problems. You need to tighten, turn this back up. And um, when we had that loose, go to here, there's a little thing and it snaps right into there. Then I drop the feed dog, get the needle at its highest point, and um, then we thread it, because this model does not come with a automatic threader. we got to get a fresh, clean point. We can use better scissors. And now we have it threaded. Lift this up. This model, you should pick up the thread. Like 
that. Pull it through. We got a cutter on the side right here. You'll see the cutter right there for cutting the thread. Okay. Like that. And we'll put it along here. We'll put this on. And when your bobbin's wound, it should be nice and tight. It looks really even and nice and tight. It's not spongy. That's the way it should look. And then um, drop this down, grab your tails, get it started, then you find Cut the thread. And then this is your IDT foot. So if I push down, I go like that, it's off. I go like that, it's on. Most of the time you always use it on. Okay. And it sews good. Let's uh, change colors. And let's go to this for you can see the sewing better. And as you can see, that's the sewing. And then I'm going to change to a, um, a zigzag. So um, this is center needle. This is needle to the right. That's needle to the left. And then you got adjustments all the way through here. So you can go to like a skosh quarter inch. So I got the needle in the center there. This is my width. So I'm going to go to go to four millimeters. This goes to six. Should use stabilizer when you go to six. And then you check it, and it's perfect, even. The tensions are perfect. The tension here is on number four. This is your top tension. Pretty much, you always stay that way. Um, most quilters on the stitch length likes two and a half, and this is your stitch length. Some garment sewers go to three to three and a half for garment sewing, and quilters like it set right there at two and a half. And um, I can go back to straight stitch. Whenever you get a jam up here, sometimes it's because this wasn't usually the bobbin wasn't put in properly or it's wound wrong and then this mechanism right here lowers your feed dog raises your feed dogs and then we'll cut it and see it goes nice and straight even so it's perfect. That's about all the tips that I can give you on basic tips to give you on how to sew with the Foff Classic style.